All right, here we go. We're gonna solve some rational equations. Ten point four. Hopefully, gotta look at. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Moby. Moby is a. Uh, he's kind of old school, maybe for you guys. DJ, famous DJ. Turns out he looks just like DJ Sully. Check out DJ Sully with those specs. Pretty awesome. I uh, would love to see him spin it. Uh, if you didn't notice, the theme of this one was. Uh, you know, I matched up some of the algebras with the. The you know the artists I thought they represented. So there's. You know, Mr. Bean with Macklemore. Uh, me and Drake, and then of course in the beginning, the fantastic <laughs> Mr. Kelly uh, and Miley Cyrus. So let's get this thing rolling. Let's rock out here with the last one here, solving some equations. So let's put it all together here. All right, so let's solve some of these rational equations here. So it says solve, check for extraneous solutions. Remember, when we're looking for extraneous solutions, we're looking for like uh, an answer that actually got canceled out, so it won't count as one. Uh, and the first one here, we don't have to worry about it because we're never dividing by a variable. X is on the bottom, so it's not going to be like impossible to you know dividing by zero. So in this case, we're safe. This actually is kind of old school. We're just looking for to get rid of these fractions here. So to do that, we're saying okay, three and four. This is a fraction. If you want, it's over one. What can they all become? Well, three times for is 12 so like the common denominator what they all can be is 12 and so what's going to happen is here when we multiply everything by 12 we're going to distribute this on out so everybody is going to get 12 times bigger here so why do we do this well it works out great when we do it you know we'll come over here and say 12 times 1 is just 12 12 times x um, is 12x and again it's, this is over the 3 this is over the 4 and then 12 times 2 is the 24, and you can say over 1. So when we do this, then things are going to start canceling here. So 12 over 3 is what? That goes in there 4 times, so we're looking at 4. And then 4 goes in there 3 times, so we're looking at 3x. And then 24 over 1 is 24. So if you've done it correctly, your fractions will be gone here. So the fra we're just getting rid of those fractions so we can solve it. And now we're just solving for x, you know, subtract 4 from both sides. We're looking at 3x equals 20. Divide both sides by 3. We're looking at 20 over 3. So there's our solution for this one. Uh, and that'll get us rolling here. That's like general idea is getting rid of that fraction. All right. How about the next one over here? Let's slide over here. Excluded value. So remember, we can't divide by 0. So in this case, x is not allowed to equal 0. So if we solve it and we get x equals 0, we just got to get rid of it. It's an extraneous solution. We can't have it because we can't divide by 0. So in this case, what is the common denominator? Well, really, you can just take them and multiply them all together. 3 times x times 5 is what is 15x. So if you want to write this out, uh, we've got 15x. And what am I going to do with that? I'm going to distribute that to everybody over here. So we're distributing that 15x. So 15x times 1 is going to give us what? 15x still over that 3. Then I'm going to say 15x times 4 is going to be what? That should be 60x, and that's over x. And then I'm going to say 15x times 2 is 30x. Awesome, and all of that is over 5. So when you distribute that, I'm just distributing to the top of it. Leave the bottom alone, and then in the, that's why I like to cancel in this next step. Now start canceling. 3 goes into 15, what, 5 times? So we're left with 5x. The x is canceled here, so I've got plus 60. And then 5 goes into that 6 times, so it equals 6x. Awesome. So once we're there, we're good to go. You know, the fraction's gone. You've done it correctly. There's no fraction. What are you going to do? Get all your x's on one side. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides, I think. So that cancels. I'm looking at 60x. Uh, subtract that equals 1x. So x equals 60 is my solution. It's, it's OK, because it's not saying x equals x can't be 0. It's allowed to be 60. I'm good to go. And you can always plug it back in and check it. Does it work? Plug 60 in right here. The, double check that. Make sure these fractions add up. And, and yes, it does work out there. So that's a pretty good one. Awesome. Great, moving on. What happens, let's make this a little bit trickier. So we've got 3x, 6, and 3x. So uh, again, you can multiply this out and say uh, 18x. That's great if you want to do that. If you want to leave it in parts, you're more than welcome to say, well, one of them is 3x, another one of them is just 6. Three, there's a the 3x, there's a the 6, 3x repeated, so I don't need to do it again. So you can do all the parts, and then you can multiply it like this. Or if you prefer the 18x, go ahead and multiply it out. No worries. I think it'll show up better in the next one. So if I did leave it all in the parts, this would be, I still have my 2 here, so it would be 2 times 3x times 6. All of that is over 3x. And then I would do my, every, I've got 1 here, so this will just be 3x times 6, all over 6. And then do the last one here, the 3x uh, times 6, 
oops, and then times that 4, don't forget the 4, all over 3x. So if you want to write out in each individual part, you can. What happens here? Well, the 3x's are going to straight up cancel, the 6's are going to straight up cancel, and the 3x will straight up cancel. So this way shows it, uh, just the piece canceling out, which is nice. So what do we have? We have 2 times 6 is 12. And then we're left with what on this one? Just the 3x. And then 6 times 4 is 24. So again, all my fractions are gone. I'm good to go. Now just solve this. So to solve this, you know, subtract your 12 from both sides. And we're looking at 3x equals 12. So what's x got to be? x has got to be 4. Is 4 a cool answer? Am I okay with that? Go back to the problem. Check it out. What is x not allowed to be? Well, x, the bottom of fraction can never equal 0. So 3x can never equal 0. So if I solve that, you know, just divide by 3, x is not allowed to equal 0. Is that true? Yes, I'm happy. That's good to go. Ooh, that's the worst happy face I've ever drawn. <laughs> that's a little rough. Excellent. Moving on here, so let's go check this next guy out. Um, so again, this may be one where I want to do it by like the parts here. So you could multiply this out. Remember, this is a fraction over 1. And sometimes, like right off the bat, I like to look at it and say, okay, what is my excluded value? So in this case, x is not allowed to be what? Well, put in the corner somewhere down here at the bottom. x is not allowed to be negative 3. If it was, then I get 0. If I write it before, I feel like I'm more likely to check it at the end to make sure uh, I don't forget it. All right. So what am I going to multiply this one by? Well, I'm going to multiply this one by, uh, I'm going to give myself a little room here. I'm going to multiply it by 2. This is one quantity, x plus 3, and then 1. So in this case, it's nicer definitely to write out. You could distribute it, but you're going to do extra work if you distribute that out. So I would leave it as parts, and now you're going to multiply each term in the equation. Boom. Just like that. So when we multiply this out, what do we get? We're going to get 2 times x plus 3. What are we multiplying that by? We're multiplying that by x. And all of that is all over 2. Then we're going to minus, this is just 1 times it, so this will be 2 times x plus 3. All over what? x plus 3. And I feel like my handwriting is a little rough in this one. I apologize for that. Uh, let's see if I can make the nice one, the last one nice here. Uh, then we've got x over 1, so I'm going to say the 2x plus 3 to this x out here is going to be 2 times x plus 3 times x, and all of that is over just that 1. So now let's get our canceling. Things should start canceling here. So we're going to say boom, boom, the 2's cancel out in this, and what's left? Well, I'm going to have to distribute it. So in this case, you do have to distribute that out, and you end up getting what? x times x is x squared plus 3x. The 2's cancel out, so we're good. Now be careful, we've got a minus here, so this gets tricky. So uh, luckily this cancels, so I'm okay, but if it would be the whole quantity if something happened. But luckily that cancels, so it's just minus 2. So be very careful with subtraction. And then nothing cancels on this one. So does the order you do this matter? No, it doesn't matter. So if you want to distribute uh, this 2 first, you're more than welcome to say it. Just be careful, that's going to be 2x plus 6 but it's the whole quantity still times x. So it's like a, you got to distribute again. So you can distribute the 2, but now you have to distribute the x. So you should end up with 2x times x is what? 2x squared. And then we've got plus 6x. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Fractions are gone. Now it's just a matter of getting everything on the same side of the equation. So I like to have my x squared positive. So I'm going to move x squared over to this side. So I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides. So they cancel. So I'm left with 3x minus 2 equals x squared plus 6x. And then it's a quadratic. Uh-oh. So what do I got to do? I got to set it all equal to 0. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides. And I'm looking at what here? I'm looking at negative 2 equals x squared plus 3x. And I think I'm going to need a little more room here. I'm going to slide that baby down a little bit. And then to set it equal to 0, what do I got to do? I've got to add 2 to both sides. So I'm going to add the 2. Finally, I'm at, x, at 0 here. So I'm setting it equal to 0 because of that square. And once I get it down to this, now I can solve it. So you can use quadratic formula. Graph it, look for the roots. Or does it factor? Yes, it looks like this one's going to factor. That's nice. So it's going to turn into what? What multiplies the 2 as the 3 should be x plus 2 times x plus 1. 
equals 0. So now what makes that 0? That would be if x equals negative 2 or negative 1. Is that cool? Come back over here and check it. It's just said you can't be negative 3. So we're happy with both of these answers. Sometimes one of them gets uh, ruled out, or both of them could even get ruled out. But that one works for us. We're good to go. Awesome. So we've solved some rational equations. Let's bring the pain here. Now we're going to up the ante. Look at this monster. Well, sometimes they look pretty rough, but usually they work out kind of friendly. So I always look at this. Does this factor? You know, to get this going, does it factor? Yes. I can say, you know, what multiplies to 12 adds uh, or subtracts negative 1 would be x minus 4, x plus 3. Usually a good hint. You know, these, these problems are usually made up for a reason. They're pretty set standard problems. If you see x plus 3 and x minus 4 over here, you may want to be thinking or hoping that it's going to factor because uh, that makes your life much easier. So what am I going to do in this case? I'm going to multiply everybody by each thing. So x plus 3, x minus 4. This is really x plus 3, x minus 4. So my two quantities I'm going to multiply by are x minus 4 and x plus 3. So I'm going to take that whole thing and distribute it to each term in this, like that. And when I do it, what's going to happen? So I'm going to have my uh, 2x times this, so it's going to be 2x times x minus 4, x plus 3. All of that is over what? I'm going to put the factored form in here. So I like that factored form. Uh, and we'll see why here. It should, you know, should make things work out nicer for us. And then what do I got? I've got the 5. So it's this times 5. So it'll be 5 times. Woo! I hope you got plenty of room to write. Got to use some small handwriting here or grab a second sheet of paper. And on bottom is what? The x plus the 3. And this is going to equal, take the left, multiply it all by this. You've got the 2. So it'll be 2 times your x minus 4, x plus 3. Then that is all over just x minus 4. Fantastic. So now hopefully things will start canceling. Look at this first one. This is great. x minus 4, x minus 4, gone. x plus 3, gone. So I'm left with just 2x. That's great. Plus what happens here? x plus 3, x plus 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and distribute the remainder part. So luckily it's addition here. For subtraction, I'd have to distribute a negative 5 to all that. But it's addition. So I'm cool with saying 5x minus 20. And that's going to equal what happens. These cancel in this one. So I'm going to distribute the 2 into both of this. So this should be 2x plus 6. So I, luckily, I don't have any quadratics in this one. Uh, I'm going to combine some like terms on the left. So I've really got, what, 7x is minus 20 equals 2x plus 6. And now it's just a matter of solving this. Hopefully, that's not too bad. At this point, subtract 2x from both sides. I'm going to do it in one step. That's going to give me 5x. Then you're going to add the 20 because you're trying to get the numbers on the other side. We're looking at 26. And yes, this is going to be 26 fifths. So I like fractions. I like improper fractions like that. That's great. If you really feel like making it 5.2, that's cool too. But I prefer this right here. And then double check it. Is that OK? What was my excluded values? Remember up back here, x is not allowed to be 4 because it would cause this to be 0. And x is not allowed to be negative 3. So just double check that. Those are my excluded values. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm good to go. No worries there. Awesome. So it takes up a lot of space, um, but they're cool. You know, this is the type of thing you can show your parents hanging on the fridge. Like, look at this. Awesome. All right. Let's do one more of these together. And then I'm gonna, I am gonna—I think I'm going to have you try a couple, um, see how that goes for you. If I look at this, I see an x minus 3 and x plus 3. Does this factor? Yes. This is our difference of squares. So we've got x plus 3, x minus 3, which is great, isn't it? Because now I'm going to multiply everybody by the same thing. So I'm going to say... Sure, we've got that x plus 3 and that x minus 3. I love it. Love it. What's going to happen here? So that's all my terms. I'm going to start distributing. So distribute that bad boy. Boom. Boom. Oh, I see a negative sign. Oh, I'm getting pretty excited about that. Uh, all right, so what happens when I distribute? So this is going to be 6 times that whole quantity. So let's start writing. And, and feel free to work ahead of me if, if I'm writing too slow here. See what you come up with. So I've got x plus 3, x minus 3. That's all over just the x minus 3 on bottom. Now it equals what? It equals, I've got 8x squared, so kind of a big number here, uh, times my x plus 3, x minus 3. And all of that is over what? I like the factored form, the x plus 3, the x minus 3. I should have picked a different number 3. My 3s are, are not flowing today. <laughs> and the last one, we've got the 4x, so we're going to say minus this 4x times x plus 3, x minus 3. All of that is over x plus 
three. So I'm doing this, and hopefully things are going to cancel in these things out. Hopefully a lot is going to cancel for us. So boom, x minus three, x minus three, gone. And then what do we do with the leftover? We're going to distribute that out. So we're looking at six x plus eighteen. And then on the right side, hopefully some things cancel. We got x plus three, x plus three, x minus three, x minus three. We're looking at eight x squared. And then, oh, be careful of this negative. Remember, the whole thing is negative, so let's cancel parts of it. Gone and gone. You can think of this as distributing negative 4x to that, but, I mean, really what's happening, you're subtracting the entire mess over there, the entire quantity. So we've got 4x times x minus 3. So I'm going to be very extra super careful with that because I hate it. If you make you know this big, long problem, you make one little sign problem. Uh, but if you're good with saying negative 4x, go ahead and distribute. You'll get the same thing I get. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I show all my work here. So now I've got uh, this going on, and I'm still subtracting. Let's simplify inside of this parentheses. So I'm going to distribute. So I'm looking at 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times that times negative 3 is negative 12x. And then there it is. There's that negative I want to be so careful about. You know, I've still got this going on on the left side. Got my 8x squared. And then what happens here? I'm, I'm changing all the signs. Distribute this negative to both of them. So you need to end up with negative 4x squared. Here's the key plus 12x. So if that's a, if that sign gets messed up, we're in trouble. It's going to throw everything off. All right, so can we uh, combine some like terms? You know, left side's cool. It's good to go. Um, the right side, I can say 8x squared minus 4x squared is that. And then now what I'd like to do here is set it equal to 0. I got quadratic. I got this square. So I'm going to set it equal to 0. So I'm going to do one step. I'm going to go ahead and subtract both of these in one line, if that's cool, Leo. Awesome, awesome. So I'm looking at what? 0 equals, we've got 4x squared uh, plus 6x minus 18. Excellent. So in this point, you could go to quadratic formula if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to check it out. Does it factor? Let's see. Well, I, first, got to be careful because you can divide a 2 out right to begin with. So I can say 2 divides all of these. So we're really looking at 2x squared plus 3x minus 9. I'm going to have to extend the page. This is going to take some room up here. Dang. Uh, great problem, Mr. Brust. <laughs> they won't get any harder. This is as hard as we can make it right here. So uh, now I'm looking at the inside. Does that factor? Well, I've got to remember, say, the 9 times the 2. So does anything multiply to negative 18? Well, adding or subtracting to 3. Uh, I think 6 and 3 will do the trick, won't they? So if I do this, I'm going to look at who's got to be negative. He's got to be negative. So uh, the way we were factoring this nice little shortcut is I'm going to bring the 2 down into both of them. So it's, you know, 2x plus 6, 2x minus 3. So we know this doesn't work. That can't be the answer because I, you know, I made it this 9 times 2. So I, you know, I brought in this extra 2 times. So I got to kind of reduce it here a little bit. So when I do that, I got to take the 2 back out. So that 2 I put in, I got to take it out. So it comes right out of here. 2 divides both of these. So this is really going to be x plus 3. Nothing comes out of that. So now I got rid of that 2. It's kind of shady, uh, kind of magic math, uh, but it works. <laughs> and yeah, I got the answer, so I'm good to go here. Uh, excellent. So I factored it. So what are my possible solutions? You know, nothing out here because there's no variable. But x is either going to be negative 3 or, uh, if you have a hard time with this, you can feel free to go out here and say, when does 2x minus 3 equals 0? Add 3 to both sides, divide by 2, you get 3 halves. So it's going to be negative 3 or 3 halves. Something i got to be careful of. Did I look at my extraneous solutions, though? Right off the bat, I should have done this. Said x is not allowed to be what? can't be 3 because that's going to be a 0. can't be negative 3. So be careful of these. Did that happen? Oh, it did. Holy cow. So I don't want that in there. Um, negative 3 can't happen. So this is not a solution. This is an extraneous it uh, can't happen solution so really this is my only solution x is three halves holy cow if you get that and understand that your boss you're gonna you're gonna blow it up this section uh, I like it that's the full page that's a screen that's amazing fantastic old school stuff before I have you try a couple um, maybe you remember doing this in the past this is really a rational uh, equation here because I got this fraction. So what happens when it looks just like this? You know, this one's nice. Because what do I do to get rid of it? I'm just going to multiply both sides by 2x minus 1. So when it's just one thing on the bottom, you know, you can, whatever you do to one side, do it to the other. I'm going to think of it more like this where I'm straight canceling out. I like doing that. And then all I have to do is distribute this side. So I can say 12 times 2x, 24x. 
minus 12 equals that canceled out and you're left with a 5x plus 6. Then it's just a matter of getting your variables on one side. Um, so again, I'll do it. Let's just finish it because I like to have some closure here. Uh, subtract 5x and then you want to move this guy over here. When I do it, it looks like I'm ending up with 19x equals 18. So what do I do? Divide both sides by 19. So uh, in this case, I'm good. Was that, am I okay on extraneous solution? So again, you have to go back here and say x could not have been 1 half. That would have made that 0. I'm cool. I got 18, 19, so I am good to go. Um, awesome. Everything's happy. Yay, it works out. Getting better. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's my better smiley face. How about this? This is definitely old school like algebra. This is really a proportion, but technically, what are you doing? Technically, just like our rules, we're saying you're going to multiply by 4x minus 1 and 2x plus 1. And then you're going to distribute to both of these. That's really what we're doing to cancel it out. Do we want to do it that way? You can. Does anybody remember the shortcut to that? You can, you know, it works. Keep, you know, do that and you're good to go. If you want, though, you can think about this shortcut that works is remember these are proportions. You just cross multiply. So if you want to straight up just cross multiply, we can say 6 times this is 6 times 4x minus that. And in this case, 12 times 2x plus 1. It's the same thing that's going to happen if you multiply it the, uh, the other way. Um, but it's our rules of proportion. It's nice to remember those rules because a lot of things are proportional. So let's solve it out just so we have it. Uh, distribute the 6. We're looking at 24x minus 6. And 24x plus 12. And, oh, this one's kind of interesting. What happens here? When I go to get my x's on one side, what's going to happen? Um, they're gone. They're gone. Boom. Boom. So what am I left with? Negative 6 equals 12. Is that possible? No. This one actually has no solution. It's actually impossible to solve this one. So that can happen. I didn't even check for my extraneous solutions, but there is no solution. So it doesn't even matter. Uh, I'm good to go there. Awesome. Very nice. So I just threw a lot of equations at you. Uh, why don't you take a break? Pause it, try these. I'm going to go ahead and work them out, but I'm just going to flash answer. If you want to see how I did it, I'm going to throw the try it video down below the application walkthrough. So if you really enjoy it, you can see that. Awesome. Excellent. So here are all the answers. Um, the first one, remember, double check it. You can't be zero, but we're okay because we got x equals four or one. The second one, I got x equals zero, but my extraneous solution was uh, one four, so I'm safe. <coughs> Excuse me. The last one's kind of crazy. Remember, don't forget, it can't be 0 or 3 because of this one right here. You can't divide by 0. Well, I actually ended up, when I solved this, it was a lot of work going through this. I got x equals 3, which is extraneous. There's not another answer to go to, so this is actually no solution. So there it is. They're solving rational equations, equations and we are done with the chapter. Um, and this is my last real video chapter of the year. Enjoy the rest of it. I hope the master check goes well for you. I've got a little DJ fail here. This is kind of imagine how if there was a real DJ Sully, uh, how it'd go for him. It all goes well until he zooms in on that camera. Uh, good luck and peace out. Thanks.